Now at five, a big day for Ohio. People from all over swarmed in for the total solar eclipse. Take a look at what we all saw when we put on our special eclipse glasses. That moment we've been waiting for. It really feels like we hit the jackpot today. Not a billion dollars, <laughs> but it really felt like this is a moment that we will never forget. You can't put a price on what no, we No, not yeah. at all. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Angela. And Yolanda is on assignment. 10 TV has been following this historic event all day long and certainly much more to come right now. We have live team coverage for you tonight. Our crews have been spread out all across the state of Ohio. Let's start right away with 10 TV's Carla Rogner, and uh, she is live at the zoo today and tonight with reaction. It was quite exciting there, Carla. Yeah, it really was. Things are quieting down here now, but this was the place to be earlier for that moment of totality. Everybody started cheering. It got dark outside like sunset and it's a pretty warm day out here today, but it did start to get a little bit chilly. This was also an interesting place to be to watch watch how the animals reacted. We could see birds chirping when the sun came back up after that moment of totality. Zoo staff and Ohio State researchers were also stationed at exhibits throughout the zoo to watch the animals and study their reaction to this once in a lifetime event. They say the biggest reactions came actually from the elephants. So if you're lucky enough to be standing around the elephant habitat, they actually, uh, Sunny Rudy and Sabu, got a little excited during the total eclipse. Uh, Sunny actually vocalized a little bit, a little chirp or a little trumpet, whatever. Uh, and then that's a, Rudy and Sunny are sisters, and when they get excited, they thump their, thump, thump their trunks on the ground, and Sunny was thumping her trunk. Uh, they kind of hovered or, or circled around Sabu. Uh, they were just excited, and they were kind of, it was pretty cute to watch. Yeah, and aside from the elephants, they say the other big reaction came from the ostrich. When it got dark out, they all decided to start getting ready for bed. They went inside and then came right back outside after the sun came back up. But they say all the other animals that they were watching today, there really wasn't too much of a reaction from them, but they'll be compiling this data together. Hopefully it'll be helpful for the future. Live at the zoo, Carla Rogner, 10 TV News. All right, Carla, thanks. Just be glad you're not a rooster. Yeah. <laughs> took Ooh, place in that talking eclipse. about confused. Ooh. 10 TV traveled near and far for a look at the eclipse and, of course, different parts of the Buckeye State fell directly into the path of totality. That includes Cleveland, and that is where we find Tintivy's Adam King, who got a special eclipse experience because it's game day for the Cleveland Guardians there. Adam, what's it been like? Let's go Columbus! Hey, we just got a let's go Columbus chant right Woo! here. So, you know, Fans making the trip up from Columbus to see the Guardians today in the sky. Kind of got two moments to start out here. We just saw the flyover and the first pitch is getting ready to be thrown out. So baseball getting ready to be played here at Progressive Park. But just a few minutes ago, everyone was watching that moment of totality you talked about. Let's show you a little bit of what we saw and a lot of fans putting those glasses on and looking to the sky out here. They let all the fans come into the park and they could leave if they wanted a better view, but a lot of fans choosing to stay and watch what was a truly magical experience, including the players. We saw players laying on the grass, relaxing. You wouldn't know they had a baseball game in just a few hours from that moment. Truly an experience that whether it was a manager, whether it was a player, a fan, everybody shared together. You can hear the cheers behind me as they get set for that game, but already people having a life-changing experience inside Progressive Field. It, it definitely lived up to my excitement and my expectations. It, it overshot them even. So I don't think I could put in the words accurately if I tried. Like it, it was absolutely insane just watching that probably for maybe the only time in my life. Yeah, and I, I've got to say it was a really cool moment at Totality. We've got about four minutes here of Totality. And when we did, everybody looking around, taking in the atmosphere, so many different people, so many different stories, but everyone in that moment experiencing something that many of us will never get to see. And now, something that we get to see once every year, the Guardians home opener, final, final fans are piling in here. The game's going to get going in just about three minutes. So we will have you covered with more on the actual game coming up at 6. But I know someone else that got a great view of the eclipse over at Indian Lake, and that is where we find Jerry Martz. And Jerry, I got to tell you, you talked this up for so long, and it 1,000% <laughs> exceeded expectations. 
It's not often that happens. I know you're used to that kind of delivery for our weather forecast day in and day out, but I think 1,000% might be an understatement, Adam. The experience in Cleveland was identical to what we had here in terms of the sky cover. We could not have dialed up better conditions, comfortable temperatures, dry weather, plenty of sunshine, and yeah, we had a couple of high clouds out there, but in no way did they really diminish from the overall impact and just the experience of totality here at Indian Lake. I'm at uh, Indian Lake Park outside in Logan County, and it just was a great afternoon for everybody to get together. People started filing in, and if we go through the events uh, getting to totality, some of the things that we noticed is just how quickly it got dark, how surreal it was when it was in totality. And if you look closely, you can see it looks like a little red ruby or a diamond at the bottom part of the sun, and maybe a couple other very faint spots everybody just taking in both the view of the eclipse in totality but also their surroundings people they don't know and just made quick friends with or just actually sat in silence kind of soaking it in and this is a shot again from some of the folks you're here viewing at at about 3 15 in the afternoon it is just unbelievable how fast that come in came in and they also experienced uh, what appeared to be kind of a storm front coming through or storm clouds, which was actually the leading edge of totality as it worked in from the southwest and then passed off toward our northeast. And then how quickly uh, the light came back on, so to speak, as soon as the sun began to fade or enter after the, uh, the moon's shadow began to pass. Just unbelievable experience here at Indian Lake. Now, weather-wise, we talked about how fortunate we were to get this window today. And it wasn't just here, it was everywhere in northwestern and central Ohio. So very lucky there. The rest of your evening today, very similar. A light breeze, warm temperatures. We're going to stay in the 70s and 60s for the course of the evening. As we get beyond that and get into tomorrow morning, we're going to see temperatures back up again, but we're going to see gradually increasing clouds, and the opportunity will be with us almost every day this week of some showers and possibly some storms. So keep that in mind as you're making plans, and maybe you're on a bit of a kind of an eclipse down cloud right now, but get out and enjoy the afternoon. From Indian Lake, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz. Back to you. We will take that up and down, Jerry, for sure. Thanks so much. Okay, with the eclipse today came a lot of backups and delays. We saw as early as 11 a.m. Yeah, let's get over to Amy Sargawal with a look at the roads right now. Amy, what are you seeing? Any congestion? Yeah, we're definitely watching a lot of congestion right now and a couple crashes as well. Pretty much everything is going eastbound at this point. So I-70 eastbound just beyond Alum Creek Drive. We're watching a crash that has some slight delays over in those eastbound lanes. Also going southbound over on the west side on I-270 southbound just beyond Roberts Road. There is a crash that has some lanes blocked over there, but perhaps the biggest congestion we are seeing is up here in and out of the Plain City Dublin area. Take a look 33 eastbound on the northwest side. You're going about 10 miles an hour in certain sections of those eastbound lanes, so just keep an eye out. Plan for extra time if you are coming in again. That upper left hand camera really shows some of those backups. So does that bottom left hand one in and out of the Dublin area and that crash on I 70 in that bottom right hand camera. Again, if you are hitting the road, right now plan for extra time back to you guys all right i mean thanks so much for that let's uh take you back to our team coverage mm -hmm. now with this incredible day we've experienced many communities across the state holding watch parties and events to bring in the community and yeah. uh, Unite. That's a good word. I love Unite, that. Folks. And it's really what happened, which we saw in Dublin, because 10 TV's Dom Tiberi spent most of his afternoon there. And Dom, you were playing a game with people saying we're no longer <laughs> strangers because you make quite a lot of friends out there. I'll tell you, it really was a cool day to hang with a bunch of people. I, I traded phone numbers with a bunch of folks. Let me give you a look at the uh, traffic. It's still pretty uh, thick here on Riverside Drive. That is coming from the north heading south, but uh, folks are getting out of here. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect, and we got some video that we can show you from uh, when the, uh, just, you know, the, the folks that were here, thousands of folks were here, and I, and I really didn't know what to expect. A lot of families were down here, a lot of kids were down here, and everybody taking it in. And, you know, I've heard many different words used, all inspiring, uh, spiritual. It was all of those things. It gave me goosebumps. Um, and it was like a, a unite. A, you, everyone felt united here. It was cool when the cheer started and we had total darkness. Uh, and it was so much cooler. Now the sun's back out and it's hot. But it was really something amazing. I had a chance to talk to some people afterwards. And here's some of the thoughts we, uh, we got from them. It was mind-blowing. It's phenomenal. I hope it, like, brings peace. 
You're here with your family. Was this was this an emotional thing? Um, a little bit, yeah. I think it's just a neat time to witness something like this together. What, was it worth coming down for? Oh, 100%. It was amazing. It I mean, was surreal, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I got, I got goosebumps just watching it. I think everyone got goosebumps just watching it. Most of the folks are heading home. Now, these young ladies from Dublin and Hilliard came up, said hi. They actually, what you watched the eclipse where? Uh, we watched it at Mooney's uh, parking garage. Yeah. So you were up on the parking garage. Yeah. How, what was the view like up there? And what was the feeling like for you? It was really good. It just felt like it was just like it just felt like crazy. It felt like the world was so big and we were so small. Yeah, we are. Well, that is true. What did you think of it? Um, I thought it felt very surreal and like like a one time moment that you could only see like never again. So it just didn't feel real in the moment. Well, it, it was real. And I, and I know what you're saying because it was, you know, it, it, it almost looked like it was dusk and it looked foggy. And then all of a sudden the lights came on down here and it was like nighttime at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon that this will happen again in Ohio guys in 2099. I'm already on record saying I want to do it. You guys want to can we can we make it a date yeah. in 2099? Yeah, there you go. Andrew and Angela are in. So we're all up for it. 2099. Okay. There you have it. We'll have more uh, coming up uh, at six o'clock and plus I'm going to do sports here at six. So oh. I may just I may just move into this uh, park. I kind of like it. I just, I may just live here from this point on. Why not? The best day to do it. Why not? Why right. not? You know, that will be the question everyone's going to ask tomorrow. Where were you during Where the eclipse? Which is what Don was doing to all those friends. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dublinites. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can find all of our eclipse coverage right now, uh, you know, highlighting all the sites from today right now at 10tv.com. You also can find it on our 10TV News app. Make sure you have that downloaded. It's easy to access. We'll send you alerts right to your phone. It's also a free download.